Hello, my name is Gordon James Asty, and my screenplay titled Two Milligrams is a runner-up in the 2022 Scriptapalooza Screenplay Competition, and I couldn't be more thrilled and honored to be recognized for this craft that I have so much love and respect for. Uh, I've been asked a few questions about the screenplay, and I'm going to do my best to answer without giving away any spoilers. Uh, so the first is, how did you come up with your idea? And the second is, what was your inspiration for the screenplay? And I feel like with this, how the story came to be, they're kind of one and the same, so I'm going to try to answer it like that. Uh, in 2018, a musician friend of mine had introduced me to uh, the trap music scene. And uh, the musicians that he was sharing with me had really struck a chord with my inner 16-year-old self. Uh, this kind of mishmash of punk and hip-hop and grunge. And uh, I just found it very intriguing. And as I discovered more and more artists with similar sounds, uh, I discovered that there was kind of a, a running theme of, of lyrics uh, talking about depression and very candidly about uh, suicidal thoughts and uh, opioid addiction. And uh, I, I, I just found it... A, I had been wanting to tell a story about the opioid crisis for, for some time, and I didn't have the vehicle. And there was an artist that I had been listening to the most um, by the name of Lil Peep, and I had been listening to him for a good six months before discovering that he had passed away in 2017. So I had been listening essentially to a ghost, and uh, he had passed away from a fentanyl overdose. Uh, the title, by the way, it's a um, based on the fact that it takes two milligrams of fentanyl as opposed to 30 milligrams of heroin to overdose. And so I just, I really wanted to tell a story that, that spoke specifically to teens in a language they could really appreciate, uh, as well as get them excited about going to the movies. And then try to also hit it from a parental aspect uh, that really empathized with what it would be like to, um, to be raising a teenager in, in, in today's environment, because I feel like social media is, is one of the most dangerous drugs of our, of our time. Uh, how long did it take you to write it? This one took me a, a few years. Uh, the main character, he's, he's fictional, but I, I based him off many different artists throughout recent history. And uh, so it took a lot of research to get it to a place that, that felt very genuine. Um, is this the first script that you've written? This is not my first script, but this is uh, the first one that I've decided to put to competition. What is your process of writing? So I, I change constantly. I always feel it's very good and healthy to kind of, for some reason, I don't know why, but to feel like I don't know what I'm doing and I've got to rediscover every aspect. And for some reason, it just helps me finish. Uh, one of the things I did this time was write the uh, entire first draft by hand. And I really enjoyed that process because it felt like putting that much care and attention to the first draft, almost as though it, 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 it helped skip a lot of rewrites, even though of course it was rewritten a bunch, but it but it did seem like it really helped. Um, I'm an actor by trade, so one of the things I always do is read out the scenes and perform the characters as best I can and record it and listen to it back as I go. And uh, because I really like the idea of if I'm getting a true to ear flow, if you will. If I was at a table read and I didn't know the script and, and, and people were reading it out, would I enjoy the telling of the story as if around a campfire? Uh, I feel like it really lends to the, to the final read. And then I always, I always uh, have a playlist that I could easily be the soundtrack to me. And I all listen to that the, the whole time. I feel like it really is a, a pillar for me. Uh, do you have any advice for other writers? Something another writer told me uh, years ago uh, when I shared one of my first feature scripts with him and he was kind enough to read it. Uh, it was all over the place. The spelling and grammar was atrocious and the formatting was completely incorrect. And uh, he was kind enough to, to gently let me know that even if you're going to share a story with just family and friends, you have no intention on having it produced, that that story really, you owe it your care and attention um, and respect. And for some reason, it really stuck with me. And I, I, so now every time I'm working on a project, I, I really try to fall in love with every aspect from formatting to spelling and grammar to uh, the breadcrumb trail I try to leave for the reader. Um, I, I just really think when you put that much energy, it, it, it transfers and the script carries, carries it with it. And it can, it can really help transcend the reader. Um, why did you enter Scriptapalooza? Uh, well, of course, because they're an awesome uh, um, 
competition, but uh, the fact that they help get writers discovered is is amazing. And any institution that 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 helps unknown stories get off of the page, in, in my opinion, is a fabulous group to get behind. And and with that, I just want to say thank you again so much, Scriptopalooza, and congratulations to all the writers of 2022.